Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and connect an audio mixer to the Personas AudioBox USB 96 audio interface to connect to our computer for recording. This is great if you have a whole pile of inputs that you want to run through an audio mixer before trying to get it to your computer for recording. Now, if your audio mixer does have a built-in audio interface or it has a USB output, I would recommend just going straight. I'm always a fan of some simple solutions where you can just have less points of failure. But this is a very common thing to do, connecting an audio mixer to an audio interface. People do this for live streaming, for streaming bands, or for hybrid events. Maybe you have an in-person event and you just want a copy of the mix going to a live stream or something like that. So one unique thing about the Personas audio box is that it does not have quarter inch line level inputs. Now the outputs from the audio mixer here will be line level. So we're gonna use quarter inch line level outputs and we'll demonstrate that it comes in just too hot to the audio interface. So we're gonna show a workaround to get it back into a reasonable range so the Personas audio box can handle the volume. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our condenser microphone here, the Audio-Technica AT2020 to our audio mixer and then we'll work through the steps of getting that all the way to the computer. So we have our XLR cable here. We will connect this from the microphone to the audio mixer. Once we made this connection, this is a condenser microphone, so we do need to turn on phantom power. Turn the main stereo mix all the way up to that triangle position. On some mixers, there'll be a zero or a U, which stands for unity. It's all the same thing. Just turn it up to that mark. And then on the Yamaha, we need to turn up the level first, and then we'll increase the gain until we see that we're getting somewhere close to zero, which is what we're looking for. We're trying not to go over zero or we will get peaking and distortion. So now we're all set up. I'm not gonna worry too much about getting the EQ and everything set up. We're just gonna prove the connection path and uh, work through it that way. So now we're gonna take our quarter inch line level outputs and we're gonna try connecting it to our audio interface. So on the left side, we'll take the left output and we'll go into input one on the Personas audio box. And we'll do another one here. We are using balanced TRS cables. You can see that there's two rings. So we have the tip, the ring, and the sleeve. So it's a three-part cable, which means it's a balanced cable. Plug that into the second output, and then the second input on the audio interface. The volume for both can be all the way turned down. That's totally fine. And now when we look over at our computer here, we can see Actually, before we look at the computer, let's look at here. So on the mixer itself, you can see that we're coming in somewhere between minus six and zero. And in logic in the computer, you can see that we're completely peaking. I'm gonna to cut to the audio now just so you can hear how badly it is peaking. It's completely distorted. So now we're gonna cut back to the lav mic that I'm wearing here. So the reason for this, again, is the Personas audio box just has instrument level quarter inch inputs. So what we need to do is we need to bring that down to something reasonable that the audio box can handle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run both of these quarter inch cables through a stereo DI box. So we unplug them from there. So we're coming out of the audio mixer, then we're gonna go into this DI box. So on the left side here, we're gonna go in the input. And on the right side here, we're gonna go with the input. And then this will bring it down to a mic level. So now we can use an XLR cable because the XLR inputs on the Personas audio box are mic level and the quarter inch are instrument level. So, and we're coming from line level. So if you can follow what we're trying to do, we're trying to come from line level, step it down with the DI box into mic level for the audio interface. So now we can record or connect the left output of the DI box to input one on the audio interface. And another XLR cable coming out of the right output of the DI box into the second input on the audio interface. Perfect. So now I'm gonna reset the level. And now you can see on the mixer, 
we're somewhere between minus 6 and 0. And in logic, we're coming in about 2.8. So we're getting what we're sending. Now I'm going to reduce this a little bit. If you are ever recording, it is recommended to stay somewhere between minus 12 and minus 18, somewhere in there. So we can definitely bring it down quite a bit here. Let's keep resetting this. But if you're in a live situation, so you turn it down a little bit more again. If you're in a live situation, you want to keep it somewhere between minus 6 and 0. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I was just in that live frame of mind, so that's why I started up at 0. But now you can see that we are somewhere around minus 14, minus 12, which is absolutely Absolutely perfect for recording. So this is what I would do if I was trying to connect an audio mixer to the Personas audio box. You connect your microphone, you set it up, and you go through a DI box to the audio box. A couple little side notes here. We are using a condenser microphone, but the phantom power comes from the audio mixer. Don't try sending phantom power from the audio interface. You can just leave that off. The audio mixer is what will supply the power for all your microphones. If you have any questions or comments about anything that we did here, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you're looking for pricing or specs for anything that you see in this video, we do have a ton of links down in the description below for everything that you see here if you're looking to buy online. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. <music>